Whoa, sorry about that. Okay, so here we have our saint book, and we're going to read a story about a saint named Elizabeth Ann Seton. All right. So, Elizabeth Ann Seton, what does it look like she, who she helps just by looking at the picture? I'm noticing some children here, and she's reading a book. Hmm. Elizabeth Ann Seton. My middle name is Elizabeth. I feel like there's somebody else in TK who has the middle name as Elizabeth. <clears throat> Little Elizabeth is beautiful, said Mrs. Bailey. Her husband, Dr. Bailey, smiled. Yes, she is very beautiful. Elizabeth Ann Seton, oh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth Ann Bailey was born in New York City in 1774 when America was very young. The city was big and lots of people lived there. The Baileys were well known in New York City. They belonged to the Episcopal Church. Elizabeth liked to go to church on Sundays. She liked to help people and she brought food to families in the poor areas of the city. School was fun. Elizabeth liked to draw and play the piano. Elizabeth learned how to speak French. I love to read books, said Elizabeth. I want to read all the books in my father's library. Elizabeth had many friends. They went to parties and dances. At age 19, she met a man named William Seaton. He was very kind. William and Elizabeth went to parties and dances together. They liked each other very much and soon they fell in love and they were married. Life was happy for the Seton family. They had five children. William worked in the family shipping business. Elizabeth took care of the children and did charity work. Then one day their happy life changed. William's business closed. The family could not pay their bills. Then William got sick. He had tuberculosis. God will help us, Elizabeth told her family. The Lord will help us through our troubles. Elizabeth and William went to Italy. The warm weather might help William's sickness, thought Elizabeth. She prayed that he would get better, but William did not get better. He died and Elizabeth became a widow. So a widow is a woman whose husband dies. Thankfully, some friends who lived in Italy took care of Elizabeth. She was very sad. She missed William and her children, but her friends took her to church. It was a Catholic church. Come and pray with us, they said. So Elizabeth went to mass. God is here. I feel so peaceful, she thought. Her friends told her more about the Catholic faith. Elizabeth wanted to become a Catholic. So before when she was a young girl and when she was a grown up also, before she went to the Catholic church, she went to an Episcopal church. So she wasn't a Catholic yet. And when she first went to the Catholic church, she realized that she wanted to become a Catholic. So she returned to New York. There were so many things to do. Being a single parent was hard. It was also hard to leave the Episcopal church. Elizabeth and her children converted to the Catholic faith. Her friends and family, they stopped talking to her. They were mad at her because she was becoming a Catholic. A priest asked Elizabeth to start a Catholic school in Baltimore, Maryland. Now she could help children, her children, and other children too. She could see that God had a plan for her. So one of her friends who was a priest, he asked her if she would start a school, a Catholic school, just like our school. Elizabeth was a good teacher and leader. She started a religious community. They were called the Sisters of Charity of St. Joseph. It was the first American religious community. We will teach the children about God, she told the sisters, just like at St. Lawrence. The sisters moved to Emmitsburg, Maryland. Elizabeth's children moved with her so she could take care of them. Her religious community needed her too, so she became the Mother Superior, and everyone called her Mother Seton. That means she was in charge of all the ladies. Mother Seton and the other sisters worked very hard. They started a school for the poor children. 
It was the first Catholic school in the United States. The sisters opened more schools and orphanages in Philadelphia and New York City. More women joined the Sisters of Charity. The religious community spread to other big cities in the United States, and the sisters helped the sick people in hospitals. They cared for children in orphanages, and they taught children in school. Mother Seton died of tuberculosis on January 4th, 1821. Today, though, the Sisters of Charity teach and help people all over the world. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton prayed for strength during sad times in her life. We can ask God for help when we are worried or when we are sad. It says in happy times and sad times too, God is always close to you. Dear God, I love you. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton loved you very much. She put her faith and trust in you. Help me to follow you always. Amen. All right, so we're going to find our page in our book. A little bit too far. There we go. And today we're going to color her how she looked. Now, if you look at her here in her in her outfit, it looks like there's a lot of black, doesn't there? I'm not going to use my marker today. I'm going to use my crayon because if we use a marker, then we're going to lose all our lines here. But if we use our crayon, we'll still be able to see. So first things first, it looks like she has a blue rosary. I'm gonna actually use my marker and I'm gonna color her rosary blue. Now a rosary is a tool that you use to pray to Mary. You say prayers to Mary. Most of them are Hail Marys. You say some Our Fathers too, but you use them when you like to pray the rosary and pray to Mary. So I made it blue. I'm gonna make also before I color her clothes, right here along her face is her hair. I'm gonna make her hair brown. I'm gonna make her halo yellow. And then I can color her with my crayon. So all her clothes were black, but I'm still gonna go very slow because I don't want my picture to look scribbly. I want it to look very nice. Yesterday, when we were doing Zoom, I think I saw a couple of the friends pictures from their saint book from St. Genevieve and they were doing a very nice job coloring. That's what I like to see. I think that's her hand under there a little bit holding her rosary. I'm not going to color her skin black but I'm going to color her looks like she has some kind of a little bonnet on. And then next to her, we're also going to draw, I want you to draw a picture of yourself in your school uniform because Elizabeth Ann Seton, remember, she started the first Catholic schools in the United States, which is the country that we live in, right? Saint. Elizabeth and Seaton. There we have that. Let's see. So I'll also, you can draw here. I'll draw a kid too. Maybe we'll pretend this is a little girl, a little girl in TK with pigtails. And I'm gonna make sure 
that. She's got on her red school shirt. So our shirts at school are red, white, or blue, right? And then we have skirts or we have bottoms. She's gonna have on her blue shorts. Maybe she's gonna do lots of playing today. So I want you to draw yourself in your uniform. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna write on her shirt, S, L M St. Lawrence Martyr. So if you're a boy, you're drawing yourself as a boy in your school uniform. If you're a girl, you're drawing yourself as a girl in your school uniform. Sound good? All right. Do your best. Press pause if you need to finish. <laughs> 